A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Cawthorn under pressure as scandals pile up. As scandals pile up in Washington, Madison Cawthorn is under pressure to explain her lack of transparency. As a North Carolina Republican, she has been in Washington for less than two years. What exactly has she done wrong? Read on to find out. This article examines her connections to the Congressional Leadership Fund, the National Republican Congressional Committee, the Muckrakers PAC, and her insurance company, Congressional Leadership Fund. Candidate Madison Cawthorn has been under fire as scandals pile up, and her political career has taken a turn for the worse. Her campaign website attacked a journalist, and Cawthorn defended herself by calling the journalist a simp, a term used by men's rights groups. The campaign is also questioning Cawthorn's character. Politico first reported the photos of Mr. Cawthorn in ladies' lingerie. Those pictures came from a body game that was played on a cruise ship. The viewers were asked to select a person to pretend to be a sexy she, and the sexy a she wins. The more people vote for that person, the more points she gets. The scandals landed Cawthorn in hot water and her political career was put on hold after a series of scandals hit the conservative community. A new candidate for us. House in North Carolina, Republican Madison Cawthorn, has come under fire as sexual misconduct allegations continue to mount. The accusations against Cawthorn include claims that she had sex with three women while she was under the age of consent and inappropriately touched them. Her campaign denied the claims and suggested that the allegations were being made to derail her candidacy and author scandal involving Rep. Madison Cawthorn is her relationship with a congressional staffer who is under investigation. In addition to this, a video of the meeting was circulated revealing a crotch-grabbing incident, an affair with a congressional staffer, and allegations of insider trading. Further, the VL Watchdog published articles citing the video. National Republican Congressional Committee. Representative Madison Cawthorn is under pressure as scandals pile up against him. As a Republican in North Carolina, he entered the House as a rising star of the party's far right. But since her election as a congressman last year, her career has come under fire. She has been accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a male aide insider trading and falsely claiming that some of her Republican colleagues threw cocaine. She was also arrested at the airport for attempting to bring a loaded handgun onto the airplane, which reportedly was revoked. Although Cawthorn is a rising star in the Republican Party, she has come under scrutiny for her behavior. She was sworn into office on Gen 3, but boosted her rhetoric by inviting herself to speak at a Gen 6 rally. During her speech, she criticized Democrats and praised Republicans and vilified Democratic members of both parties. Several women claimed that Cawthorn took them for fun rides, driving them to remote locations and making unwanted advances. Meanwhile, a political action committee PAC has filed a complaint with the Office of Congressional Ethics about Cawthorn's conduct. The complaint cites a video showing Cawthorn seemingly being groped by a staffer. The video subsequently gained widespread attention, causing a new round of backlash against Cawthorn. The scandal has made her vulnerable to attacks by his own party house minority leader Kevin McCarthy. Muckrakers, PAC. After becoming a rising star in the conservative community, Representative Madison Cawthorn is facing an uphill battle as scandals pile up around him. Once a rising star in the GOP, Cawthorn is now under fire after accusations of sexual misconduct and inappropriate relationships surfaced on social media. This report looks into the latest developments surrounding the Washington Dick Lawmaker. First-term Representative Madison Cawthorn is under fire as a result of recent scandals surrounding her. She was involved in an incident where she implied that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi might have a drinking problem. Ultimately, she backed down from the allegations. Nevertheless, she is facing a slew of court dates in May and June. Regardless of the outcome, Cawthorn will be forced to answer questions about his conduct in the House. After the election, a group of alumni from Patrick Henry College urged voters to reject Cawthorn. The women's group did not respond to requests for comment. 
Cawthorn's campaign website claims that she had planned to attend the U.S. Naval Academy when she was a teenager. But the video also states that she had received scholarship offers to Princeton and Harvard Earth lawsuit is based on a pro-Confederate law that allowed ex-insurrectionists to run for office during the Reconstruction period. The decision was issued in March 2017 and the challengers immediately said the state should appeal the ruling. However, Cawthorn's opponents say they could win the case by forcing her to testify. However, the ruling stops the challenge for now. Insurance Company As scandals continue to mount against Madison Cawthorn, his insurance company is also under pressure. He is only 26 years old and has decades of misconduct ahead of him. But what is his future like? How will he handle these charges? Here's Elk. The latest scandal involves Cawthorn's insurance company. In August, he admitted to making illegal payments to his insurer. Despite being a prohibitive favorite, Madison Cawthorn is facing scandals related to her insurance company. Cawthorn's insurance company is currently under investigation by the Federal Trade Commission after releasing audio clips of a conversation between her and a Republican congressman. Cawthorn has thanked Blake Meadows for his support, but he has not responded to a request for comment. The scandals have tainted Cawthorn's candidacy for president. During his campaign, he painted himself as a bright young man who was headed to the U.S. Evil Academy. However, in a sworn deposition, he admitted to being rejected from the Naval Academy prior to his accident. He also attacked a reporter who wrote the article, Tom Fiedler, formerly of the Miami Herald and a professor at Boston University's College of Communication. The campaign did not respond to repeated requests for comment. Cawthorn's insurance company is also under pressure after she was accused of driving with a revoked license. The conviction carries a maximum penalty of 20 days in jail and a fine, and usually comes with probation. Cawthorn, who was in a car accident in 2014, used a wheelchair after he was injured. She also sued the insurance company for negligence resulting from the accident, claiming they owed her money. Krolikus. Despite her progressive views, freshman rep. Madison Cawthorn is under fire from her opponents in the Republican primary, saying the allegations against her could end up costing her the seat. She is running for re-election in North Carolina, where she is facing seven Republican challengers. She is under investigation after suggesting that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has a drinking problem. Cawthorn has court dates in May and June. While Cawthorn is considered a rising star in the Republican Party, she's also under fire from a series of alleged sexual harassment scandals. One involved the creation of a website that targeted a journalist. Cawthorn denied that her comments were racist, but she still called her opponent a simp, a term popular among men's rights groups. Despite the scandals, she hasn't bowed to public pressure. Another scandal involves her alleged sexual misconduct with three women, including a former homeschooling network. The women allege that Cawthorn inappropriately touched them and forced them to kiss her. While her camping denied the claims, they questioned the timing of the accusations. Cawthorn's characterization of the incident is inexplicable and hardly credible, but the scandal does have one thing in common. The woman who made the allegations is a woman who was close to Cawthorn. The allegations against Cawthorn are disturbing. Previously, the young representative from North Carolina was seen as a rising star of the conservative camp. Now, however, scandals have accumulated around his personal life. His campaign video claimed that his accident had destroyed his plans to attend USN at. This was false. He claimed to have been rejected before the accident but then admitted to having an affair with a male aide. Public disapproval of his behavior. But... Madison Cawthorn's recent comments about the Ukrainian government and president have angered many of her colleagues and sparked a political firestorm. She's now under fire from members of her own party and from critics of her behavior. Two weeks ago, Cawthorn said on a podcast that people in Washington, D.C., invited her to orgies and used cocaine in front of her. The comments went viral and even Russian state media picked up on the story. As a result, GOP leaders are scrambling to distance themselves from Cawthorn's comments. The incident has sparked widespread public disapproval. Cawthorn's former classmates at Patrick Henry College and elsewhere have spoken out against her behavior. 
Some have even accused her of sexual misconduct. However, Cawthorn has not yet responded to the allegations. The college has yet to release the tape of Cawthorn's alleged encounters with students. It's unclear why Cawthorn would want the attention of students who, in addition to the harassment allegations, Cawthorn has also been accused of driving recklessly and violating the law. Three women have said they were harassed by Cawthorn in his car. Three told police that Cawthorn had taken them on fun drives off campus. While locked in the car, he asked them about their virginity and their sexual experiences. This behavior has continued for several weeks, and the women involved have reported a high number of incidents.